What's up, y'all? It's your man, Bobby Washington, producer, singer, songwriter, filmmaker. This is my Bobby Washington vlog channel. Please subscribe and click the notification bell. So, former NYPD officer accused of hiring a hitman to kill her husband. Uh, her boyfriend's teenage daughter is sentenced. Yeah, this woman you're looking at right now is an ex-NYPD officer. And, um... She actually hired her boyfriend um, to find a hitman to kill her husband because they were in a, a heated divorce. Um, but she took it a little bit too far with the boyfriend. The boyfriend's name is John uh, Deruba. And basically, this is how the story goes. Uh, a former NYPD officer accused of enlisting her boyfriend to help orchestrate the murders of his own teenage daughter and the officer's estranged husband has been sentenced. Valerie Cincinnelli, 37 years old, pleaded guilty in April to obstruction of justice after paying her boyfriend, John DeRubba, to hire a hitman to kill two people. According to New York Times, the targets were DeRubba's daughter, 15 years old, and Cincinnelli's estranged husband, Isaiah Carvola. On Friday, Cincinnati was sentenced to 48 months in prison. I'm apologizing from the bottom of my heart, she says. A tearful Cincinnati told the judge, according to ABC News, I can't believe I allowed myself to get to that dark place. Cincinnati's May 2019 arrest came after an elaborate sting by FBI agents working undercover. A previous report that Cincinnati paid the rubber 7,000 to hire a hitman to kill Carvalho in February 2019. Shortly before her arrest, authorities visited Cincinnati at her Long Island home to falsely report Carvalho's death. Later that day, an FBI agent posing as the hitman sent a text to the informant De Rubber, which included a photograph of the defendant's estranged husband appearing dead in his car. Both Carvalho and the teenage, teenager were unharmed. After authorities informed Cincinnati of Carvalho's phony death, Cincinnati called the rubber and said the hitman did it, according to recorded conversations cited by the New York Daily News. The rubber turned to the FBI after Cincinnati included the rubber's daughter as one of her targets. So I guess the rubber didn't realize that this woman wanted his daughter dead too. And I know he didn't. <laughs> so Cincinnati suggested to hit on Carvello take place in the hood or the ghetto. And this is what pissed me off because everything, you know, these, these people want to do, they want to blame it on black folks in the hood. So this is this really pissed me off here. Um, she did that to avoid suspicion, it says, according to the Daily News. Cincinnati also suggested, also suggested that DeRubba's daughter be gunned down near her New Jersey school. When the rubber claimed the hitman wouldn't kill her near school, Cincinnati allegedly said, run her the F over. How about that? In court, um, Cincinnati's attorney, James Caruso, uh, claimed the rubber had control over Cincinnati. And then she suffered an unrelenting uh, barrage over the course of a year in which the rubber and her husband conspired together to ruin her life, said Caruso. So this this is a, a a a crazy case. You know, here's a woman who's um, having a, a problem with her with her with her marriage. She finds a boyfriend while she's having this problem with her marriage, and she coerces this dude into helping her kill her husband. But not only her husband, she wants the new boyfriend's daughter dead. So she want to knock off two people at, at one time. You know, which is crazy because I'm I'm sure this guy said, "Wait a minute, why you why you want my daughter dead?" You know. Maybe the daughter didn't like her, you know, but still, is that a reason to want somebody dead? It's crazy. Anyway, what do you guys think about this story? You know, do you think that, uh, you know, she, she got what she deserved? Um, you know, can you make sense of it all? Let me know what y'all think. Peace. These three hats have three different meanings. I'm going to break them down hat by hat. This hat represents me, the family man, husband, and father. This hat 
represents me, the musician, producer, singer, songwriter, street promoter. This hat represents me as a filmmaker, feature films, and vlogging. These hats also represent where I'm from, Miami. The cliche, you're a jack of all trades, but somehow I managed to master all three. I'm Bobby Washington, and these are my vlogs.